Now I know what some of you are going to be thinking. If you're in the USA, you're going to be like, oh yeah, Tintin, it just came out, and so Jeremy's doing a video, and that's just normal. If you're outside the USA, you're going to be like, dude, get with the game, this came out months ago, and for you it did, but for us, it just came out this weekend. So if this is what it feels like to get movies late, this sucks, I hate it. <laughs> The Adventures of Tintin. All right, so The Adventures of Tintin, I can sum it up for you right here. Producer Peter Jackson, director Steven Spielberg. Nice recipe for a winning combination if ever there was one. So The Adventures of Tintin stars Tintin and it follows him and his dog. Yeah, his dog. And they go on an adventure to find a treasure and of course there's this other guy who wants this treasure too and you don't want him to get it because he's a dick. So now it's a race. Of course, the villain knows more about the treasure than Tintin does. That makes Tintin our underdog, you know? That's why we're rooting for him. And at a point, Tintin runs across Captain Haddock and now they team up and they're going to find this treasure. And I would argue that Captain Haddock becomes less of a secondary sidekick character and more of a second lead character, which is really cool. I like that. They both share an awesomeness. Now, Captain Haddock is played by Andy Serkis. You know, Gollum. We all love and know Gollum. And Captain Haddock made for some really good comedy relief. Sometimes the comedy in this movie kind of swung towards some slapstick. I didn't really like that as much. Like, sometimes there are things that happen in this movie. You're like, that. that's not realistic. That wouldn't happen. That's like a cartoon. When unrealistic slapstick type stuff that wouldn't actually work starts to happen, it starts making you see it more like a cartoon and less like a movie. It starts to become a bummer, but it's not everywhere in the movie, but it's at places. But it has some absurdly awesome action sequences. I mean, they're running the clock, you know, they're trying to get away from this disaster. They're trying to outrun whatever. I mean, at a point in the trailer when I saw this, I was like, yeah, that's Uncharted. And I will sum it up for you like this. This movie is like Uncharted, the young Nathan Drake Chronicles. It worked for this movie and the cinematography is just nuts. The 3D is really good too. If you like 3D action sequences, this movie was made for it. And it's produced by Peter Jackson. So you know he's gonna be like, nah, none of this mediocre 3D, you give me the best. I don't know if he can talk to Spielberg like that, but you know, it, it happened. So cool character is a fun adventure that reminds me of Uncharted, great action sequences, a good treasure hunt movie. That's what you're in for with Tintin. I would say I would buy this movie on Blu-ray. Great fun and good for the whole family. If you have a family, you can take them to it. Even though there are people who get sliced up and die with pirate swords. It's just CGI ketchup. Tell your kids that. So your favorite treasure hunting adventure, what would it be? Comment below. Let me know. If you say Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, bad things happen. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.